श्री गणेशाय नम यतर्वाणी भूता प्रतिवंतिता चोपमी तस्म सत्यातने नम ज्ञाता ज्ञानम तथा जेयम दृष्टा दर्शन देश कर्ता तो क्रिया जस्मा तस्म ज्ञातने नम स्फुरी शीकराजस्मा आनंद शंबरे वन जीवन तस्म ब्रह्मनंदने नम ब्रह्मनंदने नम वेदोदीम समुनमत ज्ञानरत्न समुद्रित यस्म वसीठा गुरुण गुरव नम वसी भगवान की जय सदगुरु भगवान की जय सच्चिदानंद भगवान की जय शब्द ब्रह्म की जय सरस्वती महारानी की जय योग सिद्ध जी भगवान की जय हरे ओ हम युग वसिड का निर्वाण प्रकरण का अच्छा वी आर लुकिंग एंड डिस्कसिंग ऑन योग वसिड निर्वाण प्रकरण फास्ट हाफ एंड एटी फास्ट चैप्टर इन दैट वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द स्टोरी ऑफ चूड़ाला एंड सिखिध्वज एंड इन दैट द गुरु वशिष्ठ ही एक्सप्लेन्स अबाउट स्पेस वॉक टू रामा वॉकिंग इन द मीन्स वॉकिंग मीन्स नॉट ओनली बाय फूड but it means having contact with relationship with the invisible beings who dwell in the subtle worlds that is the meaning of space walking and here we were discussing about the कुंडलिनी पावर कुंडलिनी पावर इज नेम ऑफ दी द सुप्रीम पावर द एनर्जी द प्राइमोडियल एनर्जी व्हिच इज डिवाइडेड इनटू मेनी ग्रुप्स ऑफ फाइव and it works in the whole creation and also in the same way in the body individual body individuality and universality has got no difference here the kundalini power works throughout and that is 
अदरवाइज ऑल्सो इफ सीन फ्रॉम डिफरेंट एंगल इट इज अंडरस्टूड एज द प्राणिक एनर्जी द द मूवमेंट ऑफ द प्राण सो इट वर्क्स इन द बॉडी इंडिविजुअल बॉडी एंड इट activates all the network of the nerve system in the body and when there is this balance in the working system it happens by this balance in the pranic energy the heat and the water energy bath pit cough in this way when it uh, works dissimilarly irregularly then diseases appear appear and when there will be harmony then there will be not be any disease in the body and we have discussed many kinds of causes for the disease from ayurvedic point of view and from other point of view we have seen it and we are discussing also about the cure of disease all these we have already discussed and the diseases are of two kinds one is mental other is physical of course the verbal disease is there it is included both way mental and physical using words or language which is harmful to you and to others also in this way we have discussed the two types of diseases and its cure also गुरु बसिड जी इज टेलिंग है श्री राम जी जैसे वर्षा काल के नदी अपने तट के सभी वृक्षों को जड़ से उजाड़ फेंकती है वैसे ही संपूर्ण आधि और व्याधियों के विलासों को जड़ से उखाड़ फेंकने वाला जन्मादि विकारों का मूल अज्ञान रूपी व्याधि का क्षय ही है so in essence we have seen till now the root cause for all kinds of mental and physical diseases are only ignorance not knowing the reality how not knowing the reality means not knowing the causes how it has become disordered and how to make it disorder uh, orderly in this way misunderstanding or not knowing the reality is called ignorance that ignorance is the root cause for all kinds of all the disease samanya व्याधियों तो आयुर्वेदिक औषधियों तथा अन्य आदि शुभ कर्मों से अथवा वृद्धों की परंपरा से कथित औषधों से नष्ट होती हैं जनरल सम कॉमन डिजीजेस कैन बी क्योर्ड बाय द मेडिसिन एंड बाय बाय द एक्सपीरियंस of the elderly persons 
and by uh, good deeds. In that way, we can cure all the common diseases. Now, we shall see hey, Sri Ramji, Lolark Adi, Tirthamistan, Mantra, Ausad Adi, Upay, Vridhajano, Se Prapta Hui, Ausadhyā, Tatha Arved Shastra, To, Aap Swayam Khub Janta Hai, In Satrikta, Aur Mai Kya, Aap Ko Upadhez Duhu, Subhashit Ji, Telling Ram Ji, Ram, you know all sorts of medicines prescribed by Ayurvedic science and going to places of pilgrimage, doing some meritorious deeds. There is cure of common diseases that you know. What else I can tell you? <coughs> Sri Rama ji bol rahe hain, aadhiyon se vyadhiyon ke kaise utpann hote hain aur unki kaise chikishcha ki jati hai. Woh Sri Rama Chandra ji puchta hai ki guru bar aadhi se kaise vyadhi utpann hoti hai aur ausad se bhinna mantra punya adhi rup jukti se woh kaise nasht hoti hai. So Ramachandra ji had the question. Basit ji told in between that sometimes the physical diseases are caused by mental disorderness. Mental diseases cause the physical diseases. So now Ramji asks on this, how it happens? How the mental diseases become cause for the physical diseases? And of course you told many ways of curing it. Now can you tell me of course, by medicines, it will be cured, everybody knows. But how by other means, that is, by mantra, by good deeds, and by other techniques, all these diseases get cured. That can you tell me all great knowledgeable person. Vasish Ji Maharaj ne kaha hai Sri Ram Ji First of all I shall tell you how the physical diseases are caused by mental diseases. He says Hey Sri Ram Ji Manasi ki pidaun se चित्त के बाकुल हो जाने पर शरीर अत्यधिक छिद्ध हो जाता है इसलिए क्रोधी जंतु अपने आगे का प्रशस्त मार्ग नहीं देख पाता ही सेज व्हेन देयर इज डिजर्डर in a thought process, that is mind, in fourfold form, when it works disharmonizely, then what happens? The chitta, the subconscious mind gets disturbed. So that is the seed, that is what gives the tendency to act in a particular way, a push to go ahead to all the organs of the body. That is the subtle most part of the mind. 
when it gets disordered then it cannot prompt it cannot give a push to all the organs of the body to act in a particular systematized way because it is itself disturbed so there will be some misbalance in prompting the uh, different parts of the body naturally we have seen everybody experiences it when there is uh, too much annoyance anger or greediness or too much of fear all these uh, lower qualities negative qualities of the body and mind the man is unable to think properly he, he will be unable to see ahead future and he forgets the past and at present he becomes unable to decide what to do or what not in this way the body parts will act in misbalanced way so naturally there will be diseases sanmukh marg ko na dekh kar कुमार की ओर उस तरह दौड़ता है जिस तरह बाण से घायल हुआ हरिण अपने प्रकृत मार्ग का छोड़कर अन्य मार्ग की ओर दौड़ता है वेन वन इज अनेबल टू सी दी फ्रंट मीन्स द फ्यूचर वट विल हैपन नेक्स्ट so he gets rid of the track he gets it derailed from the track and naturally when when one adopts some wrong paths the result will be wrong also that is called disease just as the wild deer gets hurt by a, an arrow and runs aimlessly it doesn't know it doesn't know where to go and what to do so naturally it gives up its uh, safety way and goes in the runs in the wrong path so naturally he gets as a prey to its a hunter or the lion or others samark sanmukh marg ko na dekh kar kumarg ke aur us tarah daudta hai जिस तरह बाण से घायल हुआ हरिण अपने प्रकृत मार्ग का छोड़कर अन्य मार्ग की ओर दौड़ता है ही लूजेस ही इज सेफ्टी पाथ एंड ही आक्स यूजलेस वर्क he goes in a useless path as a result he gets the diseases the body acts disorderly manasik pidao me manasik pidao se sankshipt hue pran vayu apni kshamta ko chhod kar sharir me viruddh marg me aise bahte hain 
जैसे हाथी के प्रवेश से क्षुद्ध हुए जल नदी जल नदी के तट में विरुद्ध मार्ग में बहते हैं मैंने बिग एलिफेंट एंटर्स इन टू ए स्मॉल रिवर फॉर टेकिंग बाथ और जस्ट प्लेइंग इन दाटर द स्मॉल वाटर रिवर लेट गेट्स डिफरेंट वे डिफरेंट फ्लो इट डजेंट फ्लो इन द पर्टिकुलर कोर्स सिमिलरली वेन the mind gets disturbed the body gives up its proper path and it does all those useless things pranavayu ke visam bahane par kaf pit aadi ke bhar jane se visam sthan mein नाड़ियाँ फंस ऐसे पहुँच जाती हैं जैसे राजा के अव्यवस्थित हो जाने पर वर्णाश्रम की मर्यादा विषम स्थान में पहुँच जाती है इक्वजान गिविंग ब्यूटीफुल एग्जाम्पल्स हाउ डिजर्डर हैपेंस He says, when the mind is disordered, so naturally there will be disorder in the breathing system, and as a result, the the air element. and fire and water element in the body works disorderly and that's how the nerve system also doesn't work properly it works in a disturbed way so naturally there will be diseases pranavayu ko bhi samta dwara sharir ke pranavayu ki bhi samta dwara sharir ke bhi hal kar diye jane par nadi ke srot ki tarah koi nadiyan to अत्यधिक पूर्ण हो जाती है और कोई बिल्कुल खाली पड़ जाती है जस्ट आई द रिवर्स हिली लिवर रिवर्स गेट ओवरफ्लोड इन रेनी सीजन एंड इन समर सीजन इट ड्राइज अप सिमिलरली व्हेन देयर इज ए डिसहार्मोनी इन द breathing system naturally the nerve systems also sometimes work flow overflow with the uh, sap of food and sometimes it gets uh, dried up so they don't do proper ड्यूटीज प्राणवायु के संचार का क्रम बिगड़ जाने से भोजन क्रिया भोजन किया गया न कुजीर्णता अजीर्णता या अति जीर्णता रूप दोष को ही प्राप्त होता है प्राणवायु जब बिगड़ जाता है तो कभी बहुत हजम हो जाता है बहुत भूख लगता है कभी बिल्कुल भूख नहीं लगता है कभी खाया हुआ 
भोजन तो हजम नहीं होता है इस प्रकार भोजन में दोष पैदा हो जाता है वैन दी प्राण डजेंट वर्क प्रॉपरली दे इट इन फूड डजेंट गेट डाइजेस्टेड समटाइम ओवर डाइजेशन एंड समटाइम्स समटाइम्स इन डाइजेशन इन दिस वे वेन दी फूड इज नॉट डाइजेस्टेड प्रॉपरली नेचुरली देर बी डिजीजेस समान नाम का प्राणवायु भुक्त अन्न को अन्न को रस बना कर संपूर्ण शरीर में अपने अपनी जगह में ठीक तरह से ऐसे पहुंचा देता है जैसे नदी का बेग पूर्व दिशा से दिशा में काष्ट को पहुंचा देता है समान नाम का प्राणवायु वी हैव सीन द अपान पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रीदिंग सिस्टम ए टू वर्स बिलो द नाभल एंड अपर पार्ट ऑफ द नाभल इज अंडर द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ प्राणवायु बट समान वायु वर्स इन द सेंट्रल पॉइंट नाभल एरिया and what does it do when the prana and apan get together and digest the eaten food in the stomach the samana works to supply the food juice by the nerve system to the different parts of the body properly इन ए पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम समान नाम का प्राण वय भुगतान को रस बना कर संपूर्ण शरीर में अपने अपने जगह में ठीक तरह से ऐसा पहुंचा देता है जैसे नदी का बेग पूर्व दिशा में काष्ट को पहुंचा देता है जस्ट एज द फ्लोटिंग लॉक्स ऑफ वुड्स आर गेट टू द पर्टिकुलर स्पॉट बाय द रिवर वाटर इन द सेम वे समान वायु डज द वर्क ऑफ सप्लाइंग द फूड जूस इन टू डिफरेंट parts of the body niroj se jo anna sari ke bhitar sthit rahte hain ve hi badh roop mein parinat ho jate hain kyunki dhatu ki vishamta roop parinam kar dena unka swabhav hai dhatu ki vishamta roop परिणाम कर देना उनका स्वभाव है वाई इट हैपन सो वाई द समान वायु डजेंट डू इट्स वर्क प्रॉपरली एंड वाई ऑल द फ्लूड इज नॉट सप्लाइड प्रॉपरली टू द पर्टिकुलर एरियाज ऑफ द बॉडी बिकॉज द नेचर ऑफ द समान वायु इज लाइक दैट नेचर एवरी एवरी ऑब्जेक्ट हैज इट्स नेचर सो वेन इट इज डिस्टर्ब इट सेल्फ नेचुरली इट विल नॉट वर्क प्रॉपरली दिस इज द नेचुरल प्रोसेस वेन यू फील very much tired or you are not 
ha, you have no, no good health, naturally, if you are forced to do something, that work will be done dejadarni, hapajadarni. That is nature of the body. Is tara adhi se vyadhi utpanna hoti hai. In this way, when the mind is disturbed, the body gets disturbed. Or adhi ke abhav se vyadhi bhi nashto ho jati hai. And in this way, when the mental diseases are cured completely, that means mind works properly, mind thinks properly, then there will not be any physical diseases. Or hey, Sri Ramchandji, जिस प्रकार मंत्रों से बैधियां नष्ट भी नष्ट होती हैं, यह भी क्रम आप सुन लीजिए। Now Basish ji having explaining the cause of mental disease for the physical disease, he explains how the mantras cure the mental and physical disease both. जिस तरह जिस तरह हरे के फल स्वभावतः हरे के फल स्वभावतः विरेचन रूप कार्य करते हैं यानी दस्त पैदा करते हैं उसी तरह वायु अग्नि पृथ्वी जल आदि के बीज रूप या रालाव आदि मंत्रों के वर्ण भी मांत्रिक भावना के वश से नाडियों में रोगाकार परिणत अन्नरसों का उच्चारण पाचन आदि कार्य करते हैं now we enter into some, <laughs> some thick, thorny bushes. Now be attentive. <laughs> we have to see the total anatomical Study of the body with the sound and the vibration created by wind. That we have to understand analytically, anatomically, and <laughs> comparatively how the sound is created by the no, how the words are created by the sound and sound is nothing but the vibratory system which is created by wind <laughs> you see how the mantras are created Mantras are nothing but the words or alphabets which are composed in a particular systematic scientific way which will have that type of particular vibration everywhere. 
not only in the mind or body of a being, but also in the whole universe. Everywhere the vibration will have other vibration. That means the effect of the vibration. Action will have reaction. So one vibration will be vibrated by the other vibration. That is the law of nature. We know the creation is nothing but vibratory system. Will you have it without forgetting in the mind? This is the basic principle. The whole creation which runs on the formula of basic formula of action have reaction. That is nothing but a vibratory system. And vibratory system is nothing but this harmony in the harmonious balanced state of the absolute. And that is created by sound only. The, we know the sky or the ether is the first element which is the cause for other elements and they get together in five ways, five mixtures and the objects are made. Those objects are of sound and matter also, both way, both way. Sound creates a sound, sound creates other energy also. Electricity is an energy. Electricity gives rise to other kind of electricity also. And electricity can also create magnets and sound and light and other energy it can create. So, different directions the sound will be created by sound and other energies also are created by sound. Sound means don't take the words or what we hear, not only that, touch also is sound. Is it complicated now to understand? <laughs> Because sound is vibration. So without vibration, we cannot touch. And touch is the effect of the wind element, isn't it? And wind is sound, wind is touch also. <laughs> so, so this vibratory system is all the five, all the five units of senses or the ele big, uh, the basic elements. Wind is there in the sky, in the air, in the fire, in the water, in the earth. Everything is present in everything. All the five are present in all the five. But ratio will be different. Degrees will be different. That is how we have to take everything together. Then we can have relationship. We can see the relationship with uh, relationship of wind and sound, prana and the sound, the, the words 
or whatever sound we hear. Sound also has a different reaction of sound also. Vibration created by any impact. Yes. So everything is a vibratory system. So just as one sound resounds in different ways, in mic also we see. Oh. <laughs> yes. So everything is vibrations only. This basic principle, if is before us, then everything is related with everything. That will be clear to us. Touch is vibration. Sound is vibration. Seeing vision is also vibration. Motion is vibration. <laughs> so taste also is vibration only. Everything is vibration. On this basis only the great declaration of the modern science which we no undeclared long before that energy plays the game here. <laughs> the whole universe is nothing but the play of energy. Energy is present at all conditions, in all time, in all ways, by all means. Energy is everything. Creation means energy, play of energy. So in this way, if we understand now, see, the wind, when the sky, which is seen or taken for granted, that sky is stable, commonly we understand, but it is not really stable. It also a vibratory system because sound when expands, then it takes the form of sky. And that's how the sky is the element of uh, the tanmatra sound. Yes. Why? Because it is because of sound when sound get together, they get solidified and they are called bodies. That is called creation. <laughs> why? Why there will not be bodies? Body means matter, any form, any being, whether living or non-living, that doesn't matter. It is a matter, other things are not matter. <laughs> Solid is also combination of all five. Pardon? Solid is combination of all, all the subtleness, subtleness is the vibration. <laughs> Don't give up any particular point. Everything should be before us then everything will be clear. <laughs> now, in this way, when the sound is, sound has become, taken the form of language or alphabets, how the alphabets are made, when the sound takes a form, how does it take a form? We create the form sometimes when in the beginning of history of language, when you heard some sound in the from the time immemorial, nobody knows when all these alphabets are thought over. 
you heard some sound and you thought of some form of it and just as to appear in some form yes our imagination only gives the form we imagine it This is called science. Whatever we are discussing, <laughs> what else? <laughs> In this plain paper, there is vibration, which is not visible. Now, I heard some sound. I gave this form to this sound. Do you see, my dear invisible beings? <laughs> Are you able to see? I heard some sound, wow! and I gave this form to this. When we see, uh, hear these songs. Nowadays we see the vibratory system just like scanning uh, <laughs> system, isn't it? I gave this form to this sound. Okay, I gave this form to boom, and you agreed to it. So this becomes the alphabet of boom. <laughs> This is the sound. This is the form of that particular sound. Of course, it has got some solid cause for it. Wow! So this, wow! <laughs> In the beginning, there is little higher vibration, and slowly it. Eh, it subsides, it subsides. So in this way, I gave the form. I imagined, and imagination also vibratory system. Don't forget it. <laughs> this vibration took form like this by some other my mental vibration. <laughs> okay. And sound also I created by my mouth, or I heard from some other tossing when two vibration they class against each other, the sound is formed. Understood now? In this way, if I say, hey! so this is the form given by somebody and accepted by many, a group, then it has become the alphabet A in English language only. Somebody gave the form and a group of people agreed to it, followed it, used it. So it became a, a it, it became then, it is when used, it became the language and we hear it, we write it and we understand it because it is taken for granted. In this way, the alphabets are made first in the mental level and then in the form level, and then in the language level, relative transactions. In this way, the language system and the sound and its form. So what he says, when these five elements, sky, air, fire, water, earth, 
the grass grass chest is the earth southernmost is the sky they are present in each other in different ratios and when they clash against each other in this way sound is produced everywhere there is sound because sky is all pervading which is the holder of the sound or the magnification or the uh, uh, expansion of the sound only now all these because the air uh, uh, air is present in sky in the uh, fire in water in earth also so when air tosses against each other sound is produced so the first sounds are called bija mantra the seed form seed form of the sound so the different five elements have five uh, seed form of the sound they are <laughs> they are called what the result of fire eh huh? yes the result of a machine air and fire gives the mantra everybody every element has bija mantra all the five so the fire when we uh we clean the yagya mandap that yagya pund and then before setting fire we have to write bija mantra ram ram is the bija mantra of seed of um, seed of fire in this way all the five elements have different bija mantras manas puja mein do you do bam akasa akas tatvatmane namaha <laughs> ram agni tatpat mane namaha in this way all the seed forms we chant they are jis tarah hare ke phal swabhav ta विरेचन रूप कार्य करते हैं यानी दस्त पैदा करते हैं हर्रे मतलब हरड़ हरड़ उसको हर्रे भी कहते हैं हरड़ ए पर्टिकुलर फ्रूट विच इज टेकन एज मेडिसिन हर्रे जैसे हर्रे के फल स्वभाव तह विरेचन कार्य करते हैं इट्स नेचर इज टू थ्रो आउट इट हर हर फ्रूट इट्स नेचर इज टू थ्रो आउट सो वेन यू इट 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 थ्रोज आउट द कॉप Cough from the body, and it creates also patches, diarrhea, both way upward and downward. It throws out all the garbage from the body. Its nature, 
is to push out. Similarly, Bayu Agni Prithivi Jal Adike Bijrup Yara Lava Adi Mantron Ke Burg B Mantri Havana Ke Bas Se Nadio Me Rugakar Parinata Narasun Ka Nistaran Pachan Adikarya Karte this point we have to understand how the mantra create, uh, cures the diseases. When we chant Iyo, anywhere, of course, the sound is created from anat, from heart, and slowly in four phases it comes out of the mouth, lips, and we Hear the audible sound that is uh, whatever we can perceive by our ear. So it starts from the heart. Why? Heart is a balanced state. Heart is known as the sky. And sound is created in the sky. Sky is itself sound. So from the heart, the sound is created. And when it expands, it goes out, projects out slowly by the nerve system. This sound gets grossified. And in four pages, four pages means it is not the exact page, in a slow process, it gets classified when it comes to the throat and comes to the mouth, it becomes more gross. When it uh, dashes against the teeth, the palate and the tongue and the leaves, naturally it will more be uh, it will be gross and then it comes out, then it becomes a baikari, a baikari, which is audible. Before that, Upansu, without opening the mouth, we hear the sound by ourselves, that is Upansu or Madhyama, then Pasyanti, then Pora, the subtlemost, subtlemost form of the sound. In this way, all these Bija Mantras are created and then Ya is the, the form of the sound created by the air. That is from heart to heart. Yes. <laughs> everywhere it everywhere. is. Everywhere. Ya, Ra, Ra, I told you, uh, it is the Bija Mantra of Fayar. La is the Bija Mantra of water. Va is the Bija Mantra of earth. Yar alaba adi mantron ke ban bi mantri ke bhavana ke bas me. Bhavana. When we think something that is also create a vibratory system in the brain, very subtle, and then, then that those vibrations they get grossified and then they are called thought waves. And before thought waves, it, all those will be intellectual waves. Intellect also, in some form, it is very subtle, most slowly subtler, slowly subtle, 
and then become gross, then it is called thought waves. The subtle most thought waves are called uh, all these intuition or all these uh, feelings or our uh, uh, emotions or we can say intuition, etc. All these uh, faith devotion, all these type of different subtle vibrations in the brain cells, in the mind. So these bijacharas, the seed form of the sound, they have got vibration, they are vibrations only. And they, when they are created, they also, when one vibration is created, it will go all round, Akhanda Mandala Karam, all the directions it will spread out. That is called projecting out, that is called manifestation. So when it expands in all directions, Naturally, it will also vibrate the body system. Body system is nothing but nerve system. So, it will vibrate the nerve system. And accordingly, the result will be? will be in the, in the nerve systems. And nerve, nerve system does the all this work what we have discussed till now, they will supply the, say, the sap of the digested food that is called blood or slowly it will become different. In this way, that vibratory system of our thoughts they also have influence or reaction over the whole uh, nerve system of the body. In, inside the uh, nerves, outside the nerves also. And that we can experiment now itself. When you create a very big sound, a big sound. Whoa! See how the body vibrates. See? See how the vib body vibrates? Isn't it? And that's how in pranayam our Pranab is chanted in different ways. And these seed alphabets, Bija mantras also, they are of different kinds and they create different vibrations in the body and they have influence over the body and mind both everywhere, everywhere. Not only in the body, also in the outside outside everywhere in the uh, atmosphere. And it is, uh, of course, if the Shastras say we don't believe, if the modern scientists say we believe. Nowadays, the modern scientists have seen these vibrations by research. When the OM is chanted, the atmosphere gets purified. And what, how is the atmosphere disturbed or it is uh, impured, how it be, gets impured. 
दिज वाइब्रेशन ओनली वेन इन दी एटमोस्फियर सम अनवॉन्टेड एलिमेंट्स आर गॉट टूगेदर दैट मीन्स इन ग्रॉस फॉर्म वी कैन से गार्बेज इन द एटमोस्फियर देन इट इज कल इम्प्योर and these vibrations of sound they drive them out or uh, neutralize those vibrations are neutralized by these strong vibrations recycling <laughs> when a strong vibration is created the weak vibrations get subsided <laughs> you are telling something samajhi aap aisa bolte ho aisa karte hai you are complaining something against me hey chup rao zara baat nahi karna hey so you will keep quiet what happened now do research over it your small your little vibrations means weak vibrations they are subsided by strong vibrations that's all this is the inference of our research in fact it is so the law the weaker will be defeated by the stronger ones this is the natural law applied everywhere in the vibrations also these vibration creator created by the bijacharas they have very strong uh, effect very strong effect rim how much it creates just ah uh, bloom <laughs> clean all these are bijaksharas and there is some bijaksharan some great mantra yogi said without taking bath without being pure health why it means physically and mentally don't chant this mantra ali it will create a negative effect also that is why if it is not chanted properly means if the vibrations are not created properly then what will happen negative negative vibrations will be created just as if you don't know how to push the clutch and sometimes we do so many things or accelerate then naturally the scooter or the vehicle gets uh, gets uh, damaged isn't it that's why generally these mantra is composed with uh, they uh, are not uh, uh, yes they are the bija mantra they create some particular vibrations in the body system inwardly outwardly in the mind also and in the atmosphere also so those vibrations are useful and they are favorable for the body and they in this way they create balance harmony in the uh, working system of the body that's how the the disease is cured and not only bija mantras there are different kinds of mantras say ram when we say ram almost all the body system gets vibrated om ram all the bija bija mantras of course so we have this faith and it is scientific scientific not only modern scientific in our olden scientific 
mantra also. Rama sab se adhika are main bhul raha hu us paap aghagana badhika tulsi ramayan mein ram shabd ka mahatva ha mahatva nahi bataya हाँ राम सब नाम से अधिक अघ गण बधिका अघ पाप सारा अघ गण बधिका ऑल दीज ऑल दीज और bad deeds sins they are just as the words and this ram is just like the uh, fire which can burn out all these words it can clear out all the garbage from the body system kabir das ne bhi bhai aakar prem ka राम नाम सब मन सब नाम से नाम से अधिका दि फॉर्म ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा एंड नेम ऑफ राम दिस टू आर मोस्ट अट्रैक्टिव Chorus, if it is rhythmical and one, it creates such a vibration. Whether God is not there or there or no that is there, that is not our subject. We create body vibrations which is very helpful in health wise, mental health wise. It. It creates the vibration also, atmosphere, and of course these are we are discussing now the sound and thoughts in the subtle form. They also create vibrations all over the atmosphere. So. Two days back, we were discussing how, when the ascetic is staying somewhere in the jungle, in the ashram, if he is established in ahimsa, non-violence, then whosoever come near him, it influences it. He cannot the person cannot think negatively at all. He cannot think harmful to others. Ahimsa pratisthayam tasya samipe bhairat yaga. This is how the vibration is there, and on this basis. Old and modern scientific wise, we can say your personality has so much impact over the whole universe. How you think, how you speak, what you eat, how do you behave? Your personality has so much importance on the in this creation. Don't think you are a useless being. You, <laughs> <laughs> you are the center of origin of all the universe. You are the creator of your universe. Somewhere most important. Yes, 
So now coming to our mantras, he says, Yaralavadi mantron ke barne bhi, barne means alphabet. Barna has got different meanings. Barna means caste, barna means color, barna means alphabet. Barna bhi mantrik bhavana ke boss se. Mantrik bhavana. Mantrik bhavana kya hua? If I say Ramayana ma, it has got some aspect. Ram is the name of a particular being which is considered as the ideal being or the incarnation of the God. <coughs> the limit of all the etiquettes, code of conduct. So in this way he is a he is an ideal being which is taken as God. So, in this way, I salute to that Ramayana Maha. So, these thoughts are also associated with this sound Ramayana Maha, mantra. So, the moment you chant this mantra, that feeling automatically comes to you. If you know it, it is quicker. If you don't know it, it is lengthy, it will come hook or by crook. Because this is the feeling associated with this mantra. This is the meaning of the mantra. So meaning is understood in two ways. When you understand the meaning of the mantra means word meaning, then it gives you value to the object. So when you mean it, have the feeling of the meaning, I salute that super being, then that feeling gets solidified in you, that takes a form, solid form, visible form, and that is called Mantra Devata. Mantra Devata, the deity of the mantra. It creates a form. Your feeling creates a form. Just as your feeling for your child creates love and all kinds of behavior for your child in that way, just as you treat or behave with your own son, you cannot behave in the same way with the other's child. That feeling is solidified in you because of that relationship and that feeling. In this way, everywhere, the mantra also has that feeling. Feeling gets solidified. The moment I talk of your son by the name, then the form of your son is before you, isn't it? Do you take time to think of the, your son's form? It is then and there. Similarly, when we chant the mantra, the mantra devata stands before us. And when it gets solidified by our feeling, by our faith, by repetition of the mantra, it gets solidified, then you visualize, you see the form by mental eye, slowly by physical eye, that is by analytical process, solidification of your sound. But from other ways, common belief, 
that mantra, if you chant mantra, the God incarnates and mantra of the uh, God of the mantra, he takes a form. He doesn't take form, nobody takes form. Your own sound takes the form. This is how not only with your mantra chanting or your uh, vision of your deity, that is what is happening everywhere now at present in physical visible world. It is all our visions, all our visible forms, names, they are solidification of the thoughts only. And these thoughts, of course, are two types, are of two types. Individual assumptions and uh, vision and universal vision. Though I don't, I die out my body, Mary says, yet this tree will be tree for you. <coughs> no, that is not the case. <coughs> Individual creation and universal creation. Individual creation and universal creation. Bhakti, Sristi, or Samasti Sristi, they are of two types. We create our world, just our relations. Your relations are relatives for you only, not for me. So that is your creation. And your home, your whatever belongs to you, whatever you are associated with, that is your creation. That is not universal creation. That is different from universal creation, which is common for all the creatures of the universe. <coughs> you see the tree, and the animal also see the tree. That is universal creation tree. But you behave with the tree in a particular way which is different from the behavior of a insect or animal or a bird with the tree. That differs. Individual creations, relationships, they differ from each other. But universal create, creation is common for everyone. We, which are in this creation. It will be different from other world, other creation beings. They will not able to see this creation as you see. That is sometimes explained in the story of uh, experience of our Guru Vasishtiji, <coughs> he could not see some invisible being in the subtler worlds. When he, he was meditating in the silence, silent side of somewhere in the sky, of course sky is always crowded in the subtle manner because everything is in this sky, those subtler beings are visible to the subtler beings. Birds of same feather get together. So the subtler minded persons can see the subtler beings, not you. Just as now we were discussing when your mind thoughts, they get solidified, you see the deity of your mantra. But it is there in the atmosphere, everywhere. Your deity is all pervading. But it is solidified and it is centrified because of your chanting and uh, 
your vibrations created by you. Similarly, in the sky, there are so many types of creations which are not visible to each other. Some are subtler, some are subtle most, some are gross. The earth is visible to the Mars, but earthly beings are not visible to the Mars beings. You went to moon, you didn't see any beings there, but it is not without beings. There are subtle beings which are not visible to earthly beings. Aliens, they come from different worlds. They have to take some form, then only they are visible to you. Pardon? Bhut and Pisaj, the spirits, Betalas and many kinds of subtler beings. So what happened? When Basitji was sitting there, he heard some unseen sound and he, some, some, uh, some ladies was crying bitterly. So he wanted to help a helpless lady somewhere crying, what for? I, uh, it is my duty to help others. So let me see. He went towards the sound, but he couldn't see anybody. So he asked, who are you? Where are you? Why are you crying? I am not able to see you. Please take the form, visible form. So he saw some beautiful uh, heavenly being and she was worried. She said, I am the Saraswati, the creative power of my world. You didn't see me because my form is different from your world. Now I tallied my form with your eyes. Then only you could see me. Now I am worried because my creation is getting dissolved by my creator. Now I have no work. Energy is to be subsided. So, she said, can you help me? Of course, the, it, the story is very beautiful, but scientific and uh, it is uh, most <coughs> interesting. And uh, he, uh, she prayed, Basitji, I know you are the son of your uh, creation's creator and uh, I know you are a great man and can you help me? If you have come to help me, please help me. Yes, what can I do? Can you persuade my creator not to dissolve the creation so that I will be in the job? I will not be retired. <laughs> Forcible retirement. <laughs> Compulsory. Compulsory retirement. What shall I do? Can you come and help me? Yes, come on. Let us go. Let me try. If I can. So they went to some place in the sky and the Saraswati shows some rock in the sky, says, this is my universe, this is my Brahman. Do you see? Basit could see anything. He said, I see a golden rock, it is glittering. 
it is a golden piece how can you say it is your brahman nothing i say oh i see yes come on sit here make your mind thoughtless go into samadhi enter into samadhi <coughs> i will reform your subconscious mind reform means i will give some impressions on your subconscious mind then only you will see <laughs> modifying modifying just just as coloring just as we color the walls it was white now it is some bluish or some greenish so she did it basit ji entered into samadhi saraswati entered into his mind subconscious mind and modified it up to some extent so when saraswati comes i out and uh, disturbed his mind then only he could when he opens his eyes he sees not the golden rock but the whole creation they are inside it saraswati says come on we shall enter into it how to enter where to enter brahma randra that is called our brahma randra just like on the top of the head so in that universe everywhere there will be a outlet outgoing door <laughs> it will be covered up by its limitations of the particular creator's thoughts this is my universe that is the limit that is the horizon that is the limit of its universe and beyond that neither he will be able to see the other worlds nor other worlds can see this world they will be different from each other in this way different label of existence different label of existence we can say atmosphere means we think something which is not that <laughs> for our common transactions we have some ideas that is not always everywhere correct our idea of time space conditions our atmosphere our five elements they are not so everywhere we have some ideas solidified and it has become our universe that's all yes yes it is still there <laughs> so don't think whatever you are thinking that is uh, universally accepted no you are good for nothing you are for yourself only that's all you are for yourself you are of course you are the universal being but yet you are good for nothing <laughs> in that case was said ji explained how the circular bodies are in different labels of our understanding or in the general sense universal sense nothing is equal to each other these are only ideas just clouds or fogs in the 
all pervading consciousness which is pure and spotless Prana is always there in different ways. Prana, whether it is prana or sky, ether or space or time or your air or fire, it has got no meaning there. We are talking of not universal way, beyond universal way. Where nothing is, has got any meaning, that is called the absolute. Where nothing has any meaning, your ideas have got no meaning at all. Your ideas are, are limited from ultimate sense. They have got no meaning, no use, nothing. In this way, when you think, so the sound and mantras and all these have relationship that is influence, that is action and reaction, all these. So everything has influence over the other. That means relationship, this is called relativity. And that's how your mantras also have influence over the body and outside the body, atmosphere. What do you understand by atmosphere? Has it got any meaning? Field. <laughs> Field. Huh? Field. Where from you have brought this word? Chetra, are chetra somewhere particularly this body is taken as chetra. Any, any space is called, limited space is called chetra. Any, any being is a chetra. They are, there are some thoughts and reactions and everything is going on. <laughs> that is his world. Pardon? All these three is a very local concept. It has to be transcendent. Yes, that is our aim and object. And that transcendental state, nothing can be imagined, nothing can be said. Because it is beyond it. We cannot have any ideas over it. No understanding, no seeing, no visualizing, no realizing, nothing called realization from that sense. No realization, no atma sakshatkar, all these words are useless, meaningless. Throw these and keep quiet. But that <laughs> quiet is impossible because we are so habituated. Pity on us. Yes, Brahmana, they entered inside the world and they made, they traveled a lot in that and in the sky they were flying like birds and both and Saraswati was guiding, they entered into Brahma Loka, different levels of existence there also and they entered to Brahma Lok and Brahma got up from the, uh, means came out of the Samadhi and uh, welcomed Vasit Ji, respected him as a, as a, as a uh, guest. What can I do to you? What purpose you have come here? Can I help you? Yes, I have come to request you to not dissolve your <laughs> creation. 
बस ये अरे वाइज मैन हाउ कैन यू से लाइक दिस everybody is subject to the the great time my time has come nothing can help me so you know it i am helpless and i cannot help you in this respect get out as soon as possible or or else you will be disturbed your identity will be dissolved because i am withdrawing everything <laughs> just as some mod or something some garbage is talk to the the uh, leaves of the tortoise outside it was swimming in the water when it withdraws its leaves all those garbage will be outside only <laughs> is it similarly when brahma withdraws its mind thought process whole things gets disturbed and of course disturbance in a particular system disturbance happens everywhere there is system just as he created so also he will dissolve system in non no system <laughs> disturbance in balanced state <laughs> so in that way it got destroyed saraswati could not go anywhere because it is she was brahma's thought power how can it is withdrawn means it will be restless and it will dissolve so basit came out and he observed the process of the solution he enjoyed it he described it to rama most interesting description <laughs> no he had his particular form but he visualized the that particular brahmand because his thought was so expanded on that basis so his mind could see it feel it but he had his particular limited form as was it also limitedness in unlimitedness this is called relativity <laughs> form in formless <laughs> so tomorrow we shall see further how these mantras can cure your disease ha huh? besides tomorrow we may not remember there are some kinds of sounds which has got no alphabet at all they are called sabar mantras sabar sabar mantras of lord shiva they have got no meaning no form no alphabets but sound is there some meaningless sound but it has got so much effect that is most most powerful than all these sabar mantra ha ha ji koi meaning nahi hai kuch nahi hai khali shabd hai aur wo kya kamal kar deta hai it works wonder adonara bana bana adonara ko jo kar kar denge aur wo jo chahiye wo ho jayega tantra mein ye sabar mantra ka bahut prayog hai iska koi meaning nahi kuch nahi 
माता जी तंत्र के बारे में मैं थोड़ा सा कभी कोशिश किया था इसलिए थोड़ा सा अनुभव हुआ है सकल कर्म करी तो के वो सही मोस्ट डेंजरस एंड यूजलेस थिंग चंडाल एंड वाट चंडाल चंडाल बाबा नेम बट इज नॉट चंडाल बाबा इज कॉल अघोरी दे हैव गॉट नथिंग नो सिस्टम दे डू एवरीथिंग दे ईट एवरीथिंग दे डू एवरीथिंग नो सिस्टम ऑफ लाइफ दे आर कॉल अघोरी दे दे नो दिस मंत्र समटाइम्स समटाइम्स Any how tomorrow we shall see further, and uh, this is how mantras, how can mantras cure the diseases. On the same basis, we shall see how the medicines cure the disease, how the different objects, the stones, valuable stones, money. and how the ashirvad or the blessing of uh, greater beings cure the diseases it has some basic principle that should be understood thoroughly and from there not only we can cure the disease but also our lifestyle can be changed we can be beyond pain and pleasure understanding slowly when that gets solidity in our mind we believe it then it works but we are good for nothing do bhi ke kutte na ghar ke na ghat ke koi vishwas nahi kahin hum kuch nahi kar pate hain koi faith hai hi nahi hamare andar kya milega humko hari om purnamadaha purnamidam पूर्णात पूर्णमदाचत पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशेषत ओ शांति 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 सदगुरु भगवान की जय सच्चिदानंद भगवान की जय शब्द ब्रह्म की जय सरस्वती महारानी की जय जो सिर जी भगवान की जय